Okay, so you kind of navigate via this bar on the bottom, going left to right. So we did the we did the fool. Next up is the magician. And now we get to customize, huh? The magician rescuing the missing empire soldiers from a town plagued with corruption. Growing scourge. Prepare to fight corrupted. Avoid empire. Lose gold for every empire killed. Wow. So if you encounter empire cards, you have to avoid killing them or you will lose gold. So take the gamble, I suppose. Let's see here. Companion. We currently have this guy. Max Brimstone cards unlimited. I'm not sure what that means yet. Huh. He has magic shield, respin wheel, and ranged magic. Can I learn what that means? Wait, what? All mages are my children. This one, however, I would rather disown. So I don't think we're gonna get a better a better context for now. There's no ex there's no place to view like a proper explanation. I don't think. So we can add encounter cards to the deck. Let's just try each one, huh? So let's start off with the. Oh, that's distracting. When you're scrolling around, what? 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 I'm hitting right over and over again, and it's like skipping around. Right. No. Right. No. I'm only hitting right over and over again, and it's going left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, 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 right. I'm like, what? Oh, God. I'm just concerned now. The combat feels weird, and the card selection feels weird, but they did this right the first time in their previous game that came out years ago. How are, how are their problems coming up? Weird. I'm gonna go for the- oh, Jesus. Should I do WASD? WSD doesn't work either, it skips around. Oh, is it because there's a mouse over there? Okay, cool, that's why it was happening. That's, uh... I would not recommend that for your controller support game, uh, leaving a mouse on the screen while you're, the controller is being used. You should definitely make the mouse disappear and not continually use its inputs at that point. Let's do Malaclipse's Problem, Market Thief. I'm gonna go for the token ones, because they make new things happen. That's all we've got, though. Okay, so let's try the Old Maiden. Last time around, the Maiden cards are really helpful, generally. Let's see, Arm Wrestling, it's gonna have a higher prize every time we get there. Ooh, it even explains a bit, so this one gives you gold for dice. You can gain equipment and resources, and there's a dice roll, and there's a combat thing, so there's a bunch of outcomes possible there. Don't know about this one yet. Or Fork on the Road. Or Distressed Damsel. Let's try two of the new cards, huh? Distressed Damsel, Tart Supplies, and Exotic. What we've got for now. Then our equipment cards. I don't have a lot of options this time around. I should make sure I'm familiar with what each one does, though. Shield Reflect, Crit Strike, Repost. We got, oh, we, since we haven't used the Bastion of Purification or the Cardinal Blade yet, it actually doesn't tell me what they do yet, so that's that. Maximum Platinum cards, 0 of 1. Maximum broom, Brimstone cards, 0 of 0. So we have multiple... We have multiple tiers of cards, apparently. So it lead to a, a controlled... Rare t uh, controlled rarity when you unlock too many good cards, I suppose, but it's not relevant yet. A casual call to heroism. How many adventures start thus? For 100 years, I have thought about nothing but the game. I was defeated. It is true. I became complacent long before then. I thought I knew everything about the game and what it could be. Now you see before you the extent of my research. I have crafted this game anew. Whispers from the West. Your conversation with a fur trader is interrupted as Malaclipse arrives in a flurry. The whispers speak of trouble at the edge of the Empire. The town of Westwind is suffering against the Blight. Let's learn about West One then. What do you want to know? Uh, let's see. What makes West One special? 
I've traveled far to escape the oppression of the Empire. Westwind gave me my freedom, and I intend to return the favor. Where is it? Westwind sits on the outer edge of the Empire. While the Emperor focuses on the capital, its nobles and merchants, those at the fringes are neglected. What about the Empire Protection? A small garrison is meant to be protecting the town, but apparently they are all either dead, missing, or drunk. Alright. Let's head there, then. You return to the markets and ask if any traders headed to Westwind might need an escort. There are three options. A stonemason, a food wagon, and a weaponsmith. Hmm. Food wagon has obvious benefit of that you will have food which means that you can avoid having to deal with running out of resources midway through the run and losing health as a result. Weaponsmith can, has obvious weapon rewards. Stonemason is less obvious to me. Maybe money? I'm curious. I kind of just want to see what, it, what, it would, what could happen with the stonemason. You hitch an uneventful ride with the stonemason. Ah, it is just money. You arrive at the town of Westwind. To defend the town, you'll need to locate as many Empire soldiers as you can before the Blight invades. We have to defeat as many... Okay, we'll see. Commerce thrives in even the most unusual of locations. General store. Shopkeeper nods as you enter. Adventurer, how's the world out there? We can buy food or equipment. Let's take a look. I can't afford a single thing here. Huzzah. Congrats me. Not in immediate need of food. Actually, kind of in need of food. How much does food cost here? Ten for three. Four for one. I'll take it. Before we get into some trouble. Supplies. Oh, no, that's just the same. The same thing minus the card I picked. Shopkeeper nods as you enter. Oh yeah, same. All right, so let's leave. The roads have become even more deadly since the Empire has come to power, despite their promises of the opposite. Here's the card that we shuffled in. Distressed Damsel. The road ahead is blocked by an overturned carriage and a woman calling for help. Please help, she cries. I've been robbed by a band of thugs. Is there anything you can do? I can assist her or refuse help. If assisting her requires a dice roll of 14. That is significantly harder, but if we still roll twice, I might be able to get it. Two rolls. 14 might be feasible, but it's unlikely. Score of 9. Choose which dice to re-roll. Is that how this works? Oh. Unexpected. We'll re-roll the 1. Maybe the three. On a dice that has six possibilities, a three is on the lower half. Okay, that's interesting. So it says rolls remaining, but you choose which specific uh, dice to re-roll, so you have an even higher chance of getting a good roll. Because I, I thought you had to roll from scratch multiple times and hope you make it. And I have failed. The dice are fair. And thus you have lost this round. Why, thank you. Now, if you would be so kind as to give me all your gold. The woman draws a pair of concealed blades from her corset. Come on out, boys. Oh. That wasn't very nice. The four of greed. You have no time to react as a group of bandits spring from hiding. Let us see if the mage can help you here. Let's see if I can learn how to fight correctly in this game. I'm gonna have to try to fight more defensively or something and see if I can find a way for this to work. Alright, so what does he do in action? Can I control him or does he do stuff on his own? Malaclips, a magician, jester, and a vagabond. When activated, Malaclips casts a protective spell on you that can block a single hit. Okay, how does he activate? Left bumper, okay. Okay, good to know. Does he also help me you in combat? Ow, shit.
Ow. Whoop. There you go. So he gets up and so he can be taken out via his health bar. I do have an assisting ally though. Like he's actually here in combat and he draws aggro and stuff like that. That's good to know. Woohoo. That act, he, he didn't go down from the finisher? Shit. Just kind of thought that'd be enough. So on a surface level, combat is more interesting now. Just the feel of the game feels weird. The controls feel odd for the moment. Maybe I'll get used to it. With the thugs defeated, you search their bodies for valuables. Two rolls remaining, target of nine. Much harder to mess up. Throw them off the table. Oh, you can't. <laughs> I tried to throw them off the table to see what would happen. Uh, wow. Dreadful roll. Reroll all of them. There we go. I like the dice mechanic. That's neat. You find some food amongst their possessions. Okay. Make me feel silly for buying food. Who would have thought that bandits would be all food and no gold? I guess they were trying the to steal the gold. Is too far. The North has gone from a loose collection of tribes to something to truly fear. You find some Imperial soldiers strung up by Northerners. I can fight to free them or pay to free them, but I don't have money. Or I can leave. But our goal is to recruit soldiers, so let's do that. Fight against four Northerners, the members of the Frost. You ready your weapon? I gotta be careful. The enemies are getting a lot of hits in when they probably shouldn't be. I gotta be better at that. Or I'm just gonna find myself death dead after a thousand cuts. Raider. From the frozen darkness of the far north they come. Northerners can perform combo attacks. Use repost with single-handed weapons to deal extra damage immediately after you defend. If nothing else, I'll get a song out of this. That hit me? But I why do I even have a roll? <laughs> It's not going to actually get out of the way. Shit. Shit. Is he dead yet? There we go. One down. Cool. Oop. Okay. A lot of enemies to keep track of. I'm trying to be careful. There we go. Damn it. Woo! Trying very hard to be careful here. Shit. Can you give me the bubble? I thought the I saw the pop up a second ago. God damn it. Ah. I got hit trying to figure out the spell casting cuz the I saw him say LB, so I tried to press it but it went away. So I'm like, "Aha, why did it go away?" And I was trying to figure out what was going on there. Like a compass, it indicates the truth of all directions. New weapon, five more damage. The ability called Eight Blades fires magical blades in eight directions. When activated, causes 20 damage or 40 to corrupted. Armor Breaker, bash causes additional damage to armor. One-handed, so it still has repost. Okay, so instead of a strike that does like double damage, uh, I can do a strike that will do Omni, like, multi-directional AoE attack. That sounds like it could be a lot of fun for these crowds. Ah, healing. You gain new recruits. With the Northerners dead, you free the soldiers. My goal is to get as many of those as possible, and if I get to the end with not enough, I imagine I get some sort of negative output. Negative result. Maybe she turns us all. She has done rather better than I in the time that has passed. This implies how much time has passed because even the cards themselves that are familiar from the previous game have aged compared to last time. Does this mean that our character had a history of adventures 
and then got sucked into the game, then got had decades of adventures again, and then got sucked into the game about those adventures again, because supposedly the last game was about our memories, which is weird in its own way. Well, uh, the Old Maiden. Walking through a shady forest, you encounter a frail old maiden. She stops to greet you. For centuries, I have helped the mortals who find themselves lost in my forest. Is there anything that may help you with you with your journey? Supplies, longer life, or gold? I'm gonna say longer life. Give me them hit. Give me them hit points. May you live a long life, she says. And with a fragile wave of her hand, you feel a warm sensation throughout your body. 10 max health, and also 10 health right now, which is good too. Here we begin to see one of the small ways I've changed the game. Each challenge differs both in their rules and their objectives. Even those cards which were once the stairs now vary per challenge, as you will see. I was about to say that. It seems to be a noteworthy change is that there used to be staircases or boats or paths or whatever where you'd finish a floor and some sort of card would take you to the next floor and it was always like a transitional card now we got these things it's like they're like events like capstone endings for a particular floor westwind's plague the westwind tower bell chimes feverishly the town crier bellows there's corrupted inside the town they broke through the sewers and into laos lane our brave soldiers have gone down there to sort it out or blight oh you arrive to find Westwind's few remaining soldiers huddled at the entrance of its poorest area, Laos Lane. We cannot let the corruption spread. For the good of the town, we must dispose of anyone who has been tainted, even a little. Oh shit. So we have to go in and kill everybody who's blighted, which you would think it might- the soldiers might become blighted as a result, as a result too. Your option is to join the soldiers and go to the next level, which is- so it's a mandatory choice, you can't like- there's no roleplay decision to be made here. Or you can keep exploring, which just means keep going around on this floor, which at the moment I've done every card, so it'd be pointless to do that. You join in the fight against the Corrupted. So we have four allies and there's four Blight enemies. That'll be interesting. I have four allies and, a, and I have my companion, hopefully. Meaning we actually have the majority count. Which means that they might be very dangerous. We'll see. They're rock? The inflicted are rock people? Inflicted, the first touches of corruption bring forth the darkest elements of their victims. Infected enemies are feeble, causing them to become knocked down when health is low. Use a finisher before they recover. All these allies I've got. gonna try to single them out one by one, deal with them separately. AoE! There we go. Don't think the AoE is very effective. I don't I think I only like one dude. There we go. This is going well. Clean. Refreshing to get through an encounter without taking a hit for once. With the corrupted th threat removed, you've ensured that these soldiers survive to aid the town's defense for recruits. There we go. The soldiers help you scavenge what you can from the remains of the poor souls taken by the corruption. The bastion of purification. So the old one had no- had nothing going for it. It had four defense, and it was technically a shield. That was its- that was its amazing accomplishments. This new one, uh, oh, it's heavy, reducing your movement speed by 10%. Shit. Uh, 15, de 15 defense, though, is over three times as much. Still has the usual shield characteristics. And then has damaging defense. Against corrupted, defend- causes 30% of your weapon damage to attackers. So you can block a corrupted attack, and it will lead to you damaging them in the blocking process. Alright, can go either way around the circle. Who knows what will happen. Another general store. And I've actually got money this time around, so I might be able to get something. 
Like leather armor. Wouldn't that be nice to wear armor in this game? Reduces movement speed by 10%, but gives you 10 defense. At the moment, Simply I have an adventurer's garb. Road. What I currently have gives me nothing, but it doesn't give me the negative 10. Well, that may help you on the road ahead. Would like some armor for sure. I think I'll leave it at that. I have plenty of food. Could pay for some healing, but I might just wait to see if I get lucky. Sell equipment. Is there something that I actually can sell? No, I don't. I can only sell what I've already uh, recently accomplished because you cannot sell your starting gear because your weapons are rusty and garbage. Your companion has his own story to tell. We must wonder if this is a tale of a hero or a villain. Malaclipse's problem. You f arrive at the city markets to meet with Malaclipse's associate. You find them sitting on a blanket by the sewer gates. You can't tell whether he's a goblin, a human, or an animate pile of greasy rags. A few wilted daisies and duckweed tied with rope are flopped on the ground around him. Merc, Malaclipse calls to the creature, arms outstretched. I have a favor to ask you, my handsome friend. The greasy goblin man raises a hand to stop the bard's prattle. Ten gold first, you know that. He looks at me expectantly. Wow, it's a good thing I had ten gold sitting around. Malaclipse steps forward as Merc counts the coins. Merc, old bean. The bard looks furtively around before quickly waving at, at his shoulder. I require help in removing a certain illness. Merc considers Malaclips for a while. That kind of information costs more than a few coins. You sp splutter indignantly. I will require a test of skill from him. He turns and points at you. Pick a flower and eat it. The greasy florist displays his meager wares. Malaclips nods as if it were a fair request. Eat a daisy, a forget-me-not, or a luminous purple flower. Boom, all in, luminous purple flower. The flower has a crispy burnt texture. 15, yeah, I imagine that the, the top one was easiest and the bottom one's the hardest and we'll just see what happens. Boy, oh boy. But I imagine if you do a daisy, it's like, what's this baby choice this guy's making? And then it's like, you fail for not actually doing something impressive or something. I don't know. Not off to a good start though, are we? We lose. You feel an intense wave of heat emanate from your stomach to your neck and you collapse to the floor. You wake to Malaclips splashing you with water. Merc is left and you see him attempting to steal a seed bun from the baker stall. We'll come back later and try again. Did I lose health? I'm at 95 so I should be fine. Just failed the objective. We'll, we'll try next time. Always treat those who feed you with respect. Even I stand by this rule, and I have respect for few. Tarts, pies, and exotic lies. You chance upon a wooden cart overflowing with pears, pies, and many items otherwise. A wonderful smell wa wafts from the cart. Monoclips shakes his head. Poor old Chester, this is why you should never be seduced by the wiles of women, coin slave. They'll break your heart and leave you selling your lemon tarts with little business sense. The old farmer hawks his wares to passerby. Tarts, pies, and exotic fruits? Chester gives you a jolly wave. What would you like to buy this fine morning? Nothing, because I have no money. Goodbye. <laughs> Nailed it. Now your chance presents itself. At last, stand in the defense of the peasantry. What noble traits you display already. Boy, oh boy. All right. So this is it, isn't it? Atop the West Wind Town Hall is a large bell tower. It used to signal the day's end for the workers in the mines and surrounding fields, but now it will summon the West Wind's defenders. Do you wish to summon the soldiers you've recruited? 
Ring the bell or search for more recruits. I think this is a bit of a gamble here. One, all right, so I have food. I still have food. So because I have food, I can go explore a bit. At least cover two more of these tiles and get back before the food runs out. Which means that I don't have to worry about losing food. Because uh, at least in the last game, when you run out of food, if you walk from tile to tile with zero food, you start losing health, which is a problem. Also, you can, also when you consume food, you heal, which is good. Uh, if I want more soldiers, I can get, I can check two more tiles for potential soldiers, basically. The problem is if I'm wrong and this is not the end of the dungeon, right then I have to have deal with the fact that I'm entering the third floor with no food. But I think this is the final floor, so I'm going to search for more recruits. You retreat from the bell tower in Westwind to search for more recruits. We're going to go over here. In my day, thieves kept their distance. None would pickpocket a mage for fear of failure, or worse, success. The Market Bazaar is a hive of activity. Traders from across the lands call out to passerby to, send, to sell their wares. As the sun beats down on the crowded streets, you pause briefly to draw water from a fountain. You feel something tug on the inside of your tunic. Turning quickly, you discover a pickpocket making off with some of your belongings. My food, I suppose, because I have no money. You... Making it really hard for me to do the whole recruiting soldiers thing. You jump to your feet and catch a glimpse of the thief as they weave through the crowd. Shit. Alright, you sod. Keep your down stuff. The thief mutters as they drop your belongings in the ground. As you gather up your tidings, the thief runs off back into the crowd. You gain three food. Alright, I didn't lose my stuff, but I didn't get the card either. Looks like you need to get a great success if you want to get the special condition. Otherwise, you do not. Oh, well. So, um... It looks... It could just be that I'm... I'm, uh... Rusty from not playing the previous game for a while, but... I think they made the card thing harder. At least in the beginning of the game, the cards moved really slowly, so there was a decent excuse for being for being able to track them immediately. But now the shuffle is fast enough that I, uh... I'm not really tracking them, honestly. And it's the beginning of the game. Last game, they got continually faster and more complicated and, and had more shuffles, so it became way faster. So we'll see. They place themselves in these dire positions and then expect a hero to come rescue them when things become too much. Stranded Noble. While patrolling the outskirts of Westwind, you hear the clash of steel and the unmistakable groan of corrupted. Your investigation leads you to a distressed nobleman perched on the roof of his carriage. Thank the gods I was heading to the to tea with the Duke Gilbert when we were ambushed. My footman left me here to fight them off, but the brawl has now dispersed into the forest. The noble peers fearfully at the tree line. If you stay here and protect me, I can pay. So I can stay here and defend him, or I can go after the soldiers to defend them. Which is what I'll do, because I need, uh, well I, well, I could make money this way, I don't necessarily need money. And I should help the soldiers, because they can be recruited, probably. Let's go after the soldiers. Two of steel versus seven of blight. Yeah, this, the trader wanted me to abandon him, uh, them to help him. Admittedly, I might go back and see that he has been devastated as a result. You rush into the forest and quickly encounter a squad of Empire soldiers battling the corrupted. Two versus seven. Four versus seven. Now. So I think, I assume I need to get to this scenario without them going down in combat, because if they go down in combat, they probably die. But I don't know for sure yet. They might just get KO'd and still count as being alive afterwards. What happened to me being purple and white? Leather armor overrides that? Kind of undoes some of the customization. I like that I look like a witcher. <laughs> I, I'm enjoying that part of my character's design. Prepare for violence in every major direction. Cardinal Blade. That's why it's called the Cardinal Blade? I did not register that. Ow. Bad dodge. God damn it. Yeah. 
Uh, try to get him before he was down. Dang it. Am I, are my allies down already? That's not good if that's the case. There we go. At least I'm victorious, if nothing else. I'm not sure how much better I could have defended them, honestly, if they are dead. The Warrior's Axe of the Cardinal Blade. Three more damage, but I lose eight blades, which is a fun skill to have. And I get a significantly slower weapon, right? Cannot repost. More evadable. Damage is armored enemies. Fighting corrupted, I believe, is our primary goal, though, isn't it? An AoE is nice. I don't think... I, yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with what I have right now, because I don't think we're really fighting armored enemies. Ah, more supplies means I can explore freely. Ah, oh, although the corrupted have been vanquished, no empire soldiers remain. You return to the road to find only the wreckage of the noble's carriage. So I failed on every account. Hooray! You head back to Westwind. No recruits join your cause. Shit. I didn't even notice them go down. They, they must have gone down abruptly. This mess. I don't see why you should get them out. Ooh, captured soldiers. Those are easier to, to save because they don't they're not in the fight, so they can't die. You find some Imperial soldiers strung up by the Northerners. Fight to free them again. Just three dudes. Two on three. I got this. Probably. I assume this is the loading screen or something. Because it hitches a bit when it's going. He seems psyched about his shield. <laughs> The Bastion of Purification. Nial has a wildly inventive craftsman, and also quite, quite, oh, was a wildly inventive craftsman, and also quite, quite mad. I hope this works. Get that armor shoot prepped for me, and I took a hit immediately. Well, it's a good thing I prepped it. Woohoo! Close one. Oh. Those attacks are proving less effective than I might hope. Ooh, two down. Can you... There you go. Kind of hoping for, for getting a little armored, but okay. Success is success. Gain... Thunder's Boon. Thunder's Boon. What is this? I'm just gonna call it Thunder's Boon for the sake of my own sanity. Draw a gain card at the beginning of each new map. If this if it is a gold card, then keep it, otherwise discard it. Huh. Every new map. Except this is probably our last map though, right? So it probably won't matter. Anyway, with the northerners dead, you free the soldiers, you get two. Now we have eight allies. And whether this is the last floor or not, I'm doing A-OK -okay because, oh, the rules have changed. I'm backtracking and my, I'm not losing any food. You used to lose food if you backtracked unless you played as the uh, merchant or the explorer. It was the explorer. One of the, expan one of the expansion classes uh, could, uh, could undo that effect. But aside from that, you were screwed. But no, my original concern is non-existent. Apparently you can walk around on previously played tiles. Yeah, just infinitely. And it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't cost a food each time. It's food, just It's just one food per new encounter. Huh. Maybe they'll introduce that mechanic later? It feels like an odd choice because what's the point of having a layout of a floor if I can freely go in any direction I want to and backtrack infinitely? The, the part where this is a circle and you only get to see five of the eight encounters unless you risk going in different directions is moot if the food cost isn't there. Weird. <laughs>